Electronic Net uh, TV is talking to Eric Hansen. He is the president and CEO of the Danish company Sunsil. Uh, he has a very uh, interesting new development in the photovoltaic sector. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Hansen, explain us a little bit about the new development. Yes. First of all, my thought was, or the idea was, simply to get more power out of a module. That's the first thing. And I was thinking as an engineer, how to do that? Yes, my conclusion was, if we shall have more output out of the module, you must control each individual cell. Otherwise, it will be the weakest who decide how much is going out, mm -hmm. of the, uh, how much power mm -hmm. you can draw out from the module. And I think we can see the realization yes. of your idea just on the back of uh, your new model. I think Let's move over move. here. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I have to tell you that one of my ideas was also to do things very simple. It must be a module who gives 230 volt AC direct output and is here. That means 230 volt uh, AC, AC not DC. Not DC, okay. AC, put it straight to the grid. And this is for connecting to the next module. The previous module or the net is connected here also with a plug similar to that one. So that was a very simple installation. Now back to the first question. If you want to have more power out of a module by controlling each individual cell, you have to distribute simply some intelligence out all around the module. And here is one, two, up to 12 um, converters, which consist of each four inverters. They are put in here, and you see it's fit nicely here. They are fully integrated in here. And that one controls, has from the back side here, it's a, like a print circuit board. It has connection to each uh, uh, group of cells of 12, it means one and a half cell. And that gives you maximum power output from each of these uh, groups. And being at the end, put together in a very smart, intelligent way, controlled from our mini inverter. The American called it microinverter. What is the final result of all uh, your uh, uh, developments? First of all, having all the power output of each individual cell gives you a much more energy per year because you have normally shadowing, soiling, whatever to reduce your energy production. So we have calculated and statistically we will get more than 30% more kilowatt hours out per square meter per year.